Uh, project number three. The objectives are to select a speech topic and determine its general and specific purposes, organize the speech in a manner that best achieves those purposes, ensure the beginning, body, and the conclusion reinforces the purposes, and project sincerity and conviction to control any nervousness, uh, any nervousness you may have. Strive not to use notes. And the title of her speech is, You Have Got the Power. All right. Uh, happy joining. If you went to buy a $5 shirt, and when you took it to the till, they told you it cost $10, would you buy that shirt without questioning? Would you? No. no. If somebody tried to bill you for a service that you didn't understand, would you pay that bill without trying to understand it? No. No. E e excellent. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I guarantee you've all done it. In fact, many of you do it every month with the most common public service there is. I'm talking, of course, about your electricity bill. <laughs> I'm going to tell you today why it is important to be educated and aware of how electricity works. I'm going to talk briefly about uh, how electricity is set up in the, the province of Alberta. I'm going to show you how to read your electricity bill. And I'm going to educate you a little bit about the choices that you have as, a, as an Albertan to manage your utilities. So in Alberta, uh, energy is deregulated. It means we have power providers, the people that generate the power send them out and upkeep the power lines. And we have the energy retailers, which is a number of different companies that can sell you your electricity and send you your bill. Similar to how Smart sells through authorized resellers. Uh, but what does this look like on a bill? Well, this is a general uh, NMAX bill. The power provider is this section here. It's basically distribution and transmission charges that are used to uh, upkeep the power lines within Alberta read your meter, that kind of thing. Uh, it's important to know that these charges will be the same regardless of the company that sends you your bill. So if you choose to bill with NMAX or bill with somebody else, this amount will always be the same. Your energy retailer takes care of this section up here, your energy charges. They charge you for the electricity that you use as well as an administration fee, which is basically for sending your bill out to you and, and various sundry things. Now the top of the bill actually explains what you're being billed for. So you can see the number of days that you've been billed for, the period of time that this bill is for. Most companies bill about a month behind. So in this case, it's back in November, even though this is my most recent NMAX bill. Uh, this tiny little unassuming column here that looks like it could be ignored is actually one of the more important ones that you want to pay attention to. It indicates whether you have uh, someone's actually come out and read your meter, which is an A, or if they've simply estimated your use, which is an E. Um, most companies do try and do it every month, however, they're only legally obligated to do it twice a year. So if the weather's really bad, or if there's a big bush in front of your meter and there's a dog in your yard, they might just estimate your bill for several months at a time. Uh, if they assume that you're using less energy than you're actually using, when they finally read your meter, of course you're going to end up with a really big bill for all that extra electricity that you've been using to run your hot tub. Uh, so if you're seeing ease, <laughs> uh, if you're seeing ease on your bill, for more than two months, it's generally a really good idea just to submit your own meter read online at uh, nmax.com or to call the number on the front of your bill. You can do it on the telephone as well. Um, the final column over here is how much electricity you've used. Um, this is a really small bill because it's a, an apartment and it's only for 13 days. Um, the average household in Calgary uses 650 kilowatt hours in a month. Um, it'll go up or down depending on how many people are in your house, what your lifestyle is, that kind of thing. Uh, but if it's, you know, if it's more than twice that amount, chances are there's something you're doing in your life that's using a lot of electricity that you can cut back on, save yourself some money. Uh, Nmax.com slash go green is a really good resource for Calgarians. We've got conservation tips up there and uh, checklists that you can go through that will kind of help you identify ways that uh, you can save electricity. Now, the most effective way of saving money on your electricity bill is actually to leverage your choice as an Albertan uh, to choose who sends you your bill and what price you're going to pay for your electricity. 
Um, by default, if you don't choose a company, you bill with NMAX uh, on the regulated rate. And this is kind of what it looks like over the past 12 months. It's been an average of about 10, just over 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, it has gone up quite a bit since previous years. For instance, in 2010, uh, we were sitting at about 7 cents. So most people, their bills were so cheap that they didn't really care. They don't realize how high it's actually gone up here this month in January. If you don't want to be on the regulated rate, you can choose to either sign a contract or you can just sign up for an energy agreement. And these are pretty much the choices you have in Alberta. Uh, the Utility Consumer Advocate is a third party, um, unbiased organization. You can visit their website. Tons of information about both electricity and gas. Um, but these are kind of your four main choices. I'll take it right off the bat. Ignore these guys. And ignore these guys when it comes to electricity. Um, their competitive contracts are not very good. They're very expensive. They also have fairly hefty uh, fees if you decide to cancel. Um, this leaves you with uh, EasyMax by NMAX and Spot Power. Now, EasyMax, you might think NMAX as a company is a little bit overtoned because of their reputation. Thank you. Um, but it is actually a really good program. It's very flexible in that you can cancel at any time without fees. Um, you can also change your rate option at any point in time. So uh, you can bill on their flexible rate, which is essentially the same as the regulated, uh, or you can bill on their eight cent rate. Uh, we find that people who've been billing on the eight cent rate over the past 12 months have saved an average of about $170 in the past year. And I don't know about you, but I would love to have an extra $75 in my pocket. Um, it also has the advantage because you can change your price. If you're one of those market hawks that watches things all the time, um, months when it does go low, you can switch to the flexible rate, and then when it goes back up, you can switch to the fixed rate. So it's very customizable, and, and you can have a lot of uh, power to manage your costs. Um, Spot's very similar, um, except for their price always changes. They buy uh, electricity wholesale, and then they sell it back with a one cent markup. Um, it wasn't really any cheaper last year, but years when the market's been really strong, it has been a good option to save money as well. So in a nutshell, that is how electricity works in Alberta. Uh, I hope you can understand a little bit more about your choices as Albertans, and I hope you can understand uh, how, knowing to read, how knowing how to read your electricity bill um, can help you avoid any nasty surprises down the road. Um, so I hope next time when you do get your bills in the mail, you'll pay attention and you'll read them. That was really